everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And we're going to bring you one of the most unique RV reviews we've ever done. And why is that? Because we're staying in it. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the new Winnebago Fuse. Now the Fuse is a brand new RV. This is a prototype. It doesn't even, it's so new they haven't even put a name on it yet. I had to get the name off the key tag they gave us. And what's so exciting about this one? This is the first RV that Winnebago has built based on the Ford Transit diesel chassis. Very cool. That's right. And what would an RV review from us be without a little witty voiceover? So <laughs> take it away, Steph and James. And here she is, the whole fuse. There. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a slide on the passenger side in the back, and that's because we had the 23T model. Right, there are going to be two different floor plans yeah. of the fuse. The 23T has a kind of a corner backside queen bed, mm -hmm. and there's the 23A, which is a twin bed rear bath. Which has a slide on the driver's side. Up right, front. driver's side in the, uh, like yeah. in the living area. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I like the muted colors that this had. I do. We actually stayed in this for a few days in I know, Minnesota. It's, it's, it, and we stayed in one place, really, for yeah, most of that time, too. Yeah, which was too. rare for us. <laughs> yeah, we rarely do that. All right, yeah. here I go with the arm waving. Okay. So pointing to the uh, outdoor entertainment system. Ooh, yeah, that's very, awesome. Very similar to what we have mm -hmm. in our Travato. Yep. Um, now here I am showing the propane tank, and that is a 13-gallon propane tank. All right, nice. And uh, right next to that are the batteries. Hurry up and open the door, James. And there's two. Two batteries. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what group they are. Are they on my sheet? No, they're not on the sheet. Oh, well. Oh, well, we'll have to find that out. <laughs> um, two batteries, water heater over there. Okay. And uh, moving on back, it's a two-way fridge. We'll show that on the inside. Yeah. So there are the vents for that. Yeah. And this is a rather cavernous storage compartment. We yeah. had bike stuff, firewood. Yeah, it was nice and deep, and, and you could and, shove you in there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you could actually get through to the to the bed on the inside. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, nice. All right, so, and that's where the slide is. Now, we've never really, uh, oh, that is a uh, cable input. Um, we've never really had an RV with a slide, but I'm going right. to show you some things with this. We're not big awning people either, but this had a nice awning. Yeah, yeah. This didn't need any braces. So yeah, so we're used out. to the awnings that have like legs uh -huh. that you anchor. This yeah. had none of that. Super and easy and nice uh, lights underneath. LED lights. Yeah, and look at our view. We were right on a lake. Yeah, oh, we had an so awesome nice. camp spot. Okay, one of the things I liked about the slide is there's windows on the sides too. Notice that window there? There's one on each side. Yeah, well, I notice the little slide topper awning to keep you from pulling leaves and gook back yeah. into the RV. All right, so now with the awning extended and the slide out, mm -hmm. you can walk right from one to the other and you can actually get to that. I thought that was kind of cool, although maybe if you had like, you know, mobility concerns, yeah, that might be tough. In. You'd have to put the slide in or something, yeah. But I thought that was neat. Yeah, because you don't have to get wet in the rain. Yeah. Or... <laughs> All right, so now here, I am not a diesel mechanic. I don't know that, <laughs> that there's really much I can show you here, but this is the Ford Transit diesel okay, engine. Okay, looks uh, like an engine to me. It is, it is, I believe, a five-cylinder diesel. Okay. Um, and here we are on the back. All right, these are our crap bikes. Crap bikes. Um, <laughs> so they can ride outside, and we love that rack, actually. It's very easy. Oh, yeah, so I guess that's going to be an option on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, what I'm showing there, that is the camera for a rear view system that I'll show you when we get inside. And there's a ladder. There's a ladder because there's stuff on the roof. Give me that. And I'm going to show you. Okay. The first thing, the solar panel. Ooh, that looks very familiar. It is. It's because we have the same basic ZAMP system on our Travato. Yeah. We made a video about it. Check out our video. Yeah. Go on Life on Winnebago Go Life. Um, so there's the uh, Coleman Mach 8, the TV antenna, the vent for the fridge with a little uh, shroud sort of, around it. Yeah, like a fairing. Or to protect something. it. Huh. Um, okay. Bathroom ventilation, a skylight, which you'll see from the inside. Plenty of room in that uh, shower. All right. Other side. No yeah. Not. So now, no windows here because this is kind of the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, um, that back corner is the bathroom. So yeah. here I am. Those are the dump valves. Okay. Very good. All right. And moving on over. So obviously this is where the electrical goes. Uh -huh. You can see the cord. Yeah. But there's also a satellite um, satellite jack in there. Oh, okay. So if you have so, like a portable satellite yeah. dish and you wanted to Hook get... it up right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. This is an exterior shower. All right. There you go. Nice. And right next to it is something that uh, I really think is so right. a fantastic. Yeah, that uh, that is a black tank flush system. Oh yeah, you were you liked that. You yeah. were impressed with that. City so, fill or okay. city water. Uh, that is the the furnace. I believe that was a suburban. Okay. And here we have the twenty five hundred watt propane generator, and there's the exhaust right there to the left of it. Okay. Um, and I'm about to move up, and that's uh, sewer hose storage. Oh, storage. So it's just. It's out. Well, yeah, it's outside. 
you, know, okay. you don't have to put it in that like big compartment on the yeah 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 got it um, this now, was storage this is, is storage this yeah. is um i had our water stuff in there mm-hmm. and it was plenty deep you can see it's pretty big yeah yeah so storage is not lacking on the outside of no. this thing and that's a gravity fill because you'll see the tank in a minute and <laughs> i like the tank oh and there's the running boards which are just like ours i think on yeah. both sides both sides so you don't because you sit up kind of high in the transit and so that yeah. way you don't have to have much of a climb and we're going in we're going in i'm going to show you the uh the cab of the transit all right um now this is all uh fairly standard with the uh with a couple exceptions this is fairly standard look at this this yeah. wheel tilts and telescopes yeah. our wheel in the travato just telescopes yep. so the transit has a promaster beat in that area in that area the uh the tra- i give the nod to the transit yeah now this is the monitor for that rear camera there's right. kind of a big wall back there so a regular rear view mirror wouldn't work so good but this thing you get a little camera so yeah, you can you get see a what's camera. behind you this this armrest reminded me of like one of those folding lounge chairs you need to pick it up take it down <laughs> yeah just really i don't remember that hmm okay. yeah um, all right, so there's plenty of storage up there. Yeah, a bunch of little cubbies up all along the top. There. Sunglasses, mm-hmm. receipts, whatever you need to keep up there. Yep. There we go. Thumbs up on the uh, transit chassis. All right. Now, this seat swivels around. Yeah, it wasn't as easy to swivel as ours in the Promaster, though. Promaster. Yeah, you know, ours were a little easier to swivel. Yeah. But they did swivel. And mm-hmm. then they do. When, uh, when it was swiveled around, you could use it to sit it there. But it sat really low. Yes, but we realized later there's actually a cushion that goes over that chair. Yeah, they chair, give you like so a booster up. seat. And it's quite comfortable. But we didn't show that in the video. Sorry, yeah. guys. Um, TV. Gigantosaurus. TV. Yeah. That's like a 32, 30-something-inch wow. TV. It's a monster. Um, and here we have the uh, stuff in the entertainment cabinet. Um, yeah, and some more storage right there. Yeah, uh, so there's... Deep. Plenty of, you know, connections for antenna, satellite, mm-hmm. switches for the TV, switches for the antenna, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. More now, there storage. is there is something built over the cab, but it's not sleeping, and it's not even really an option on either of these floor plans. Right, right. Um, plenty just, of storage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I really liked these. Yeah, they slide instead of open, and that was kind of nice. There's no door out that you could bump your head yeah. on. Yeah, and, and I like the glass insert. It was kind of kind of was a that trend. glass? I can't remember. Was is that it, glass? it sure looks like it felt like glass. Okay, I, I thought, all right. Uh, there, yeah. the, that black thing. That's the booster seat cushion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they look real modern, very stylish. Speakers like there for too. the TV and uh, LED lights that you yep. can turn on and off. Mm-hmm. Um, electrical outlets and here. Nice big windows on both sides yeah. of the coach yeah. up front. Yeah, it's very light and bright inside this floor plan. Yeah, MCD shades, uh, I think you just showed. Yeah. And uh, we were in this for, for a few days, so I actually had to get work done. And yep. see those cup holders there? I like those so much, <laughs> I drilled a hole in our Travato table to give me a cup holder. Yeah, we now have one. Oh, and we love that faucet right there. Yeah, the, the, the plumbing there. fixtures in this were mm-hmm. really, and you'll see in the bathroom too. Yeah. They were um, nice. So there's a there's a cutting board. We understand they may do something different in production, but we right. were happy to have it because it gave you extra counter space. Yeah, but look at that. That is a really sweet faucet. Yeah, yeah, it is really. And nice. the sink was plenty deep. Mm-hmm. And we actually did a lot of cooking in here, and it came in very handy yep. having that big deep and sink. A, and oh, there you. <laughs> <laughs> I stuffed it. <laughs> Well, look James's at this, look at this. Term. Look, she cleans. Oh, shut up. <laughs> when, when does that ever happen? Moving on. All right. So here's the uh, here's the stove. Yes, three burners. Three burners. And we burners. actually used it quite a bit. We made some soups. It was cold those few days. Yeah, it was and... chill. We were in Minnesota. It was it got yeah. a bit chilly. Mm-hmm. Um, and here's an oven. We made frozen pizza. No, <laughs> we didn't. We whole made frozen wheat, pi- Whole wheat. Frozen flat pizza. Flatbread. Vegan flatbread. Frozen bread. pizza. I'm calling it frozen pizza. Well, okay. If that makes you feel better, you call it pizza. All right. Plenty of storage in the kitchen. Plenty. And there's uh, even more under there. I'll show you that later. And yeah. then another one under the oven. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Moving up, we have uh, a little Baseline. backsplash kind of thing there. Just a regular microwave. It wasn't convection. Well, you don't need a convection because you've got an actual oven. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> why, you, why would I'm you so, bake a cake in the microwave? I'm so van. <laughs> Mindset of having a van. A uh, spice rack that actually mm-hmm. holds a roll of paper towels perfectly. Yeah. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, oh, the backsplash. Yeah, that matched that whole modern feel. We, we actually really like the backsplash. Mm-hmm. And we did, ha, it's breakfast. Breakfast. So I wanted Fruit Loops. Steph said no. <laughs> I had to have whole wheat pancakes. Hey, but they're so, good. Come on, you can't even tell they're whole wheat. Right? Yeah, okay. Anyway, 
But as you can see, the galley is complete and completely adequate. Yep, for... that's what it looks like for cooking. We weren't squished at all. There was plenty of room. Yep. Pancakes, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right. Yeah, nice. The all refrigerator. Right. Oh, I liked this fridge. It had an auto changeover. Ours doesn't have that. So nice right. feature. Plenty of stuff in the fridge mm-hmm. and plenty of room for ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> there was no ice There's, cream. Why do you freezer. think you didn't open it all the way? You didn't want it, you didn't know. want to come clean on the ice cream. I don't know. We had ice cream, did we really? <laughs> I we don't did know. not. All right, and plenty of uh <laughs> so you notice there's plenty of storage here that we haven't even put anything in because yeah. we we came out of our van and right. unloaded our stuff and there was just gobs of extra room. Right. Well, coming from a van to this big thing, we just couldn't fill all the drawers. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of empty drawers you'll see throughout yeah. this. But I don't um, think you'd be lacking for storage in no. this. Attic. Plenty of storage space. Mm-hmm. And that completes the galley, I believe. All right. And so now here I'm showing some uh, some functional things. So that is a fantastic fan. Uh, it's a manual opening, three-speed fan. Okay, why do you always call it a fantastic? Is that the brand? That's the brand, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a James thing. No, thing. It's no. a fantastic fan. Okay, now now what I'm doing, see, see that that's the TV thing. I had to turn it on. You see those lights? Uh-huh. They kind of move in response to how right. you're pointing the antenna, so it makes it very easy to point the antenna to get a good signal, and you don't have to raise it or lower it uh, to move. Nice. Um, this is the air conditioner. Right, and also had the heat strip. It does have a heat strip, and you'll see that will come around to the other side. Yeah. There. Well, we used to have see, that in heat. our. There it is. We had that in our old RV DOS bus, and we used that a lot, surprisingly. Right. Well, now we have it in the Truma. We just haven't oh, yeah, used it yeah. that much yet. But that model we had. Yeah. All right. So now that is the slide control there. Tank heaters. Mm-hmm. I will show you the tank heaters when yes. I get underneath. Mm-hmm. There they are. They work. Great. Um, the solar charge controller. Look yep. familiar? Yep. Same one we have in yep. our... And that had just the one 100-watt panel, but you could easily expand it. Mm-hmm. And uh, the monitor panel should look pretty similar, too. So the controls for the pump and the generator yeah. and the water heater, yeah. propane, water heater, electric, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's a pretty standard heater. Right uh, yep. That is a very standard thermostat. Yeah. Here we go. All right, okay. I'm going to let you do this because this was your favorite part of the whole I coach. really liked this bedroom area. I, I don't know that you can get a feel from it just from this, but there's windows all around you. There in that really area. were a lot of windows. Yeah, and it just made it, it, this nice, cozy haven. You're kind of outside, but you're inside. Plenty of storage there. Yep. And these cubbies on either side of the bed came with USB outlets so you could charge your phone. His Thoughtful and hers, touch. One on each side. I exactly. liked that. Yeah. And uh, the bed was very comfortable too. Yeah. Um, we both slept really well while we were in there. And I'm pointing to a TV right up there. So there two TVs in the small coach. That's yeah. Pretty, and that's a, a pretty decent sized TV as well. And yeah. there are speakers for the TV right there over the bed. Now, watch. I'm going to roll. You're going to get dizzy. <laughs> I'm rolling over. And there's, and there's the other the speaker. Other. Yep. So there we go. Ta da! That's the bedroom. All right. And you can actually walk around the bed. And I think I'm about to show that. Not a ton of room, but you can. You so can walk around. Down. And it makes it easier to make the bed when you can get to the sides yeah, of it. Yeah, right. So right. you don't have to climb on it to make the bed. And so. if you want a little privacy, guess what? We got you covered. Yep. We have separates. a uh, light. I didn't see any light went through it when we had that thing closed. Yeah. So it's a, no. a fairly light blocking curtain. All right. This is the wardrobe space. We didn't bring any hangers, so <laughs> our clothes are just jumbled up in there. That's why we're not going to show you inside the cabinet. <laughs> it's deep. It's big. You'll like it. Um, and so there are three drawers that f- extend all the way, run down, so there's additional storage there that mm-hmm. we couldn't even yeah. fill. All right. The bathroom. Moving into the bathroom. So yeah. the first thing is I'm getting in the shower, and you'll notice the shower's like four inches, six inches up off the uh, yeah. ground. Yeah. Um, that means the trap is inside the coach, so it won't freeze. Okay. Um, I love those shower doors. I actually took three showers in there, and I loved that shower. Look at that. It was so spacious. Remember, I'm coming from a Travato. Yeah. Now, I'm 5'10". But... Look how much room there is. Yeah. There. I almost did pull-ups there, but you could remove that <laughs> bar if you were like, you know, a six-footer and wanted extra space, but yeah. plenty of room. Yeah, it was a huge shower. And that shower head is surprise it works surprisingly well. I yeah, thought you really you really liked it. I did. It turned on and off so easy that made auto it, switch. Made it easy to save the water mm-hmm. there in the shower, right? And yeah. plenty of storage for your toiletries. Yeah. And again, notice that faucet just And like, now here we have the throne. This this toilet it was enormous. So 
it's it was like four feet wide and two feet not, long. It's not four feet wide. It was it was incredibly large. It just made you and that and there's like a forty three gallon black tank in this thing. It just made you want to use the bathroom more. That's my okay. impression. All right. Well, let's let's. It was a very large enough toilet. with the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Um, some basic ventilation there in the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, I think you're about to show us there is a, a medicine cabinet there as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's plenty deep enough. That's that's my kit, actually, in there. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that fit nice. And here we go. Here's another plumbing fixture that was above above average, I think, for... for yeah, uh, very stylish. Nice yeah, and, design. Yeah, the, some, the, whoever was in the plumbing department on, on the design team for this one really mm-hmm. outdid themselves. Yeah, they did a great job. And more, uh, more storage. More storage. We're not going to show you our toilet paper. So <laughs> it's toilet just, paper. Just trust not us. The there's magic. storage under there. <laughs> All right. That's it for the bathroom. Now I'm sure. So it was chilly when we were there. Yeah. And I noticed that there were no cold spots in the coach because there are four ducts four vents from the heater. Yeah. one in the bathroom one pointing into the into the bedroom area one pointing here into and then the gallery one up and front area. too yeah oh, and then this go. one that points up to the cab yeah so the heat was very evenly distributed through yeah. the coach yeah that was very nice all right so this is the fresh water tank nice. it is inside you all do right, not have job. to worry about it freezing so as long as it's warm enough in the coach for you it's warm enough for the water right all right, so now here's a little uh, real-time exercise. I'm not going to cut this or edit this at all. This... All right, so James is going to make the bed, and you'll mm-hmm. get to see how the front bed is done. Now, I will confess, I did take a practice run first, but I didn't learn everything because you saw there I did a little flub there <laughs> with the table. So there we go, yeah. and move the cushions over. This makes, uh, and seat belts. We should mention extra seat belts. So there mm-hmm. are two on the wall where the driver, on that wall that I'm working on now. Yeah. And then there's at least another one there. And yeah, maybe I'm not two. sure. But remember, this is a prototype. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing with that. Right. With the seat belts. So, um, but this bed, yeah. it makes a rather huge. large bed. You'll see when I get in it here. Remember, I'm, I'm 5'10", and you're going to see when I hop on there, I've got like a foot of extra space. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice, James. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. And it's it's fairly, that's got to be at least 80 inches. And that's the length of a standard queen right, bed. Right, right. Yeah. So, and, it's, and it's at least twin wide. So and how comfortable was it? I thought it was very comfortable. Yeah. And and we had some, some folks have asked about the, the fabric choices. Oh, when I was putting the bed back, I noticed... Ta-da! More storage, as if as if we needed it. Right, but you started to mention the fabric choices. Oh yeah, uh, so I, it was like ultra leather. It was very soft to the touch, kind of uh, yeah, materials. Yeah, but it in wiped there. off very easily. So I was splashing water, doing dishes, that's, and that's wiped par down. for the course. Yeah, it was it was a nice material. I liked what they used, whatever it was. Yep. All right, so now this is uh, under the galley sink, and now I'm showing you the, uh, what is that? That's the water pump back there and some of the ducts from the furnace and some water lines, and they're all inside. I only found one. Here I go. Okay. I only found one water line outside. And, right. Well, but we'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so this is the gray tank, and those are the, the sensors on it. They are mm-hmm. not probes. They're on the outside, so they won't get gunked up. Okay. Um, and... Uh, a thumbs up here, both the black tank, which is that one, uh-huh. and the gray tank, they both drain through three-inch lines. And I like that because yeah. it means they drain very fast and you're not going to get anything stuck in there. Uh-huh. Um, those are the heating pads. Good. On okay. Both the gray. We saw the heating pad switch inside earlier right. in the That's video. the water line. Okay, so what is that? That is actually for the black tank flush. That was the only oh. water I could... So that's okay. You can yeah, that that's outside. okay. So that's now, here's the suspension. Um, heavy duty, three leafs in the springs. There's the, uh, the rear... There, big sway bar. Oh, so yeah. that's the, your ground clearance picture. I didn't have a tape with me because okay. we weren't in our own coach. Yeah. Um, but it looked like six to eight inches, something like that. Okay. For ground clearance. Um, that is there the generator. Yeah. Um... And uh, try as I might, I could not find any actual water lines outside, just Good. that flush line. I found. Nice. Yeah, and there's another clearance picture there. Yeah. Um, All right. Anyway, after we stayed in it for a few days, we. Uh, it was time to return it. It was time to return it to Winnebago. It was a pretty day. Yeah, Ooh, that, that heading back to Forest City. And uh, so now here's the thing that we, we 
try to tell people. We okay. I was worried about so this. So here's my test. Can you get up and go to the bathroom while you're driving? Not that we would recommend this. No. But, but w- this this has a slide. So I was sort of worried about the access. But as you can see, there's enough room to get into the bathroom if you absolutely must yeah. while underway. Even with the slide in. So obviously. it passes that test. But how about driving impressions? Um, okay, driving impressions. Um, it's obviously bigger than than the uh, class B's that we're used to, but it still drives fine. It does catch more of the wind. I think that's to be expected. Um, the suspension seems to handle it pretty well, and we haven't come up against anything that I thought was uncontrollable. Um, I really like this little gizmo here. Um, that is a rear monitor that uh, Winnebago has added to the coach. I like it because I can see the bikes on the rack back there. And uh, this model does not have a GPS built in. We've just got our own. Um, one thing about, and this is a totally a transit thing, not a, not a Winnebago thing, is look right here. I've got about that much space between this console and where my seat is. So, not that the driver would ever be getting up while the vehicle was in motion, but when you're parked for the day, it does make it a little difficult to get back to the back because you've got to get a leg through there or up and over. Um, other than that, it, uh, it drives not too dissimilarly from uh, any other small class C that I've driven. And so that's our review of the Winnebago Fuse. Yeah, and overall, we really liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Oh, go away. I'm posting on Facebook. <laughs> um, we were living in it for several days. I appreciated the extra space. Yeah, that was nice. And I'm not saying we're going to get rid of our Class B. But no. This was really fun and... Easy to live in. Yeah, and easy to drive, too. So yeah. it'll be available soon. Yeah, so... check it out at your local dealers. All right, that's going to do it for us. All Bye right. now. Thanks, guys. Bye.